Okay, and this is um, what we have for the larger sizes. So again, I did um, kind of the all-in-ones over here, all-in-twos, and then pockets starting there, going here, and some fitteds and covers over there. So as far as all-in-ones go, um, I have a lot of sized and then a couple of one size. Um, these are um, the Ragababe size small um, all-in-ones. I have two in the watercolor print and then one in the fireworks. So it's three smalls. Isn't that pretty? And then I have two mediums. Um, one in the hearts print um, and then one in the newspaper um, print. It's kind of the sports one I guess because it's got the basketball on the back. And then um, this is a Bum Genius Elemental um, Organic Cotton All-in-One and this thing took forever to dry when I was prepping it. Um, so I'm not sure how excited I am um, to use this one but we do have it and it's in the Loveless print which is really pretty. And then the last all-in-one I have is this um, Thirsty's Duo size 2. I have the size 1 um, in the newborn stash because it's pretty small. Um, this would be for when she's a little bigger and I have no idea what the color is called. It's kind of like a hot salmon if that's even a color. Um, kind of like a pinky orangey um, color. And then um, here we've got um, all in twos. Here's the medium of that kokolo um, in the denim print, which is really cute. Um, so again, I'd love to get some feedback on if people are liking this or not. Um, I do have three best bottom shells. Um, the Mulicious print, the Strawberry Shortcake, and the Pink Giraffe. And then I have three um, Twinkle Toes diapers, which I believe are a stay-at-home mom. Um, and again, if anybody has used these and um, liked them, I'd love to hear that. Um, or not like them. <laughs> um, but they're real cute. This is the pink puppy print. Um, the pink trimmed cow print. And then just a black um, damask print. So, really pretty. And then I have four of the Ragababe um, Two Steps, size zero. So these are their all-in-twos that have the, the snap-in insert, snaps in back here. And then kind of tucks in the front. So this would be the Daisy print, Lime, um, Fireworks, and Watercolor. Um, so these are all the Ragababes. And then I also have um, two twi um, no green jeans diapers. Um, also, I think another stay-at-home mom with just adorable prints. Um, and again, love some feedback. Um, the only thing I've noticed is the pocket is a little bit snug. Like it's a little hard to stuff pretty easily. Um, but otherwise, they're really well made and, like I said, really cute prints. So this I think is called like a gray the gray zinnia print. And then this is the pink cupcake um, print. And I don't know if you can tell, but it it sparkles, <laughs> which is really fun. Um, so I'm anxious to try them out. They just look so cute. And then the last one is another stay-at-home mom from Canada called Northern Mom. Um, and I, my husband is Canadian, so I felt compelled to get this diaper. Um, with the maple leaves, um, but it is really big, so I don't know, um, it'll probably be a while before she fits into this, hopefully before we make it to potty training, <laughs> um, but we'll see, it's, it's just really big. And then we've got some more pockets, oh sorry, so that was pockets starting there, um, and then these are all pockets. So I've got one of the Fuzzy Buns um, Perfect size and small in the cotton candy color. Um, one Bum Genius 4.0 in the Blossom. One Charlie Banana um, one size in the 
blackberry, which is cute. Um, one Rumperoos, um, one size pocket in, I think it's mint. It's a real light green color. And then these are two more, I think, um, stay at home mom. They're called Rocky Mountain diapers. Um, and they're both the same. One is um, pink with green, and then the other one is pink with yellow on the inside. And they adjust um, pretty similarly to the Fuzzy Buns and the Charlie Bananas with the elastics, but they have a, it's a snap um, instead of the button or the, like the little bra strap adjustment. So just a little bit different, and it's just the legs. Um, there's no back elastic adjustment, but it's pretty, pretty snug. Um, so, and they're pretty tiny. I think that they will, or they get pretty tiny. I think they'll probably fit, hopefully, fairly early on. Um, so we'll give those a try. And then I do have a few fitteds, um, one size fitteds. This one, um, these these two I got secondhand, um, and the the Rocky Mountain diapers I also got secondhand as well. Um, Baby Go Green peanut pants with the little kind of pink kitties on it. And then this is a Marvel, um, or Kisses Marvel, and it's a one size fitted with the owls, which I thought was really cute. And then this is a Zorb 2 fitted by the Twinkle Toes diapers. Um, and it's real soft on the inside. So I'm curious to try that one out. And they have um, three covers for bigger sizes. They have two of the Thirsties Duo Wrap Size 1, uh, the Warm Stripes and the Lavender. And then the Rumperoos One Size and the Kangaroo. Um, so those are there. And then lastly, I've got um, some wool and fleece covers. Um, these are the size small fleece covers that I made. Um, those two. And then this is the wool, a uh, size small wool soaker that I made. Put a little heart on the bum. And then this is a set of wool longies that I got secondhand um, as well. And I think, I think these are knitted um, wool. And they seem a little kind of thin at the crotch. Um, like you can see my finger through there. So I'm curious, because um, I made the wool soakers that I made, um, I made them from felted sweaters that I had found at Goodwill. So they're really thick. I mean, really thick. Um, it's just a very different feeling from me. So I'm curious if anybody has used the knitted um, soakers or longies and if they work just as well um, or not. And like I said, I still have to analyze those. So. So that is it for our bigger sizes, um, and that's it for our entire cloth diaper stash. So I'd love to hear um, any comments, suggestions, um, things that you've liked or didn't like. Um, I've got obviously a, f a pretty wide variety um, of different things, so I've you know kind of thought we would try a bunch and see what we like, and then. Um, you know what we don't like potentially resell or um, give away and then get more of what we do like so that is it thanks for watching bye bye